we know you're one of the presenting sponsors this year for the film festival, and we wanted to know why, to so you can tell all the companies out there, why is it important for you to sponsor this film festival? Well, we really believe that it's a great local event. It's a world-class event in a fairly small town. And our business is uh, online education, and we teach people how to become filmmakers and how to make websites, do animation, make music, and learn all the new 21st century skills. So we felt that it was a really good alliance for us to be supporters of the film festival. We're real big believers in storytelling and filmmaking and the importance of that in the world. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you for talking to us. What is your name? Roger Derling. I'm the executive director of the film festival. Oh, Roger. Wow. How long have you been working with the film festival? Uh, for eight years now. This is my eighth edition of the film festival. And how have you seen it grown in these eight years? What, what do you say about 2011 that it's different? It's bigger than it's ever been before. I mean, we have um, 30 world premieres, 33 U.S. premieres. We have... More than 30 Oscar nominees coming this year. Annette Benning, James Franco, the Oscar host. We have Leo DiCaprio. Uh, just the list goes on. The King's Speech cast. We're very excited. Awesome. And who do you like? Who, what are you looking forward to more this year? To seeing any actors or directors? Warren Beatty's coming to our night. So I, I've always been a big fan of Warren Beatty. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, he's coming with Annette Benning. So. Oh. Great. And then what film are you looking forward to seeing, or what genre? Um, I love the documentaries the best, and there's a great documentary from Chile called um, uh, Nostalgia for the Light, and that's the one film I'm looking forward to the most. Okay, thank you so much for well, talking to you. us. Of course, absolutely. Yeah. Destination Three Degrees. Yeah. It's the story of uh, Morgan Hostry and Jenny Palumba. They're two stand-up paddlers who paddled the entire Hawaiian island chain. So uh, it was almost 300 miles in open ocean they paddled um, over a six-week period. And the first two women to do all the channels. Yeah, we're in the to the max category, exactly. Absolutely. I mean, our film, um, one of the inspirations for the idea, Morgan, one of our paddlers, is very much... Uh, in line with the um, Agulito Marine Research Foundation. They're the group who, with Captain Moore, discovered the, the Pacific Garbage Patch, and they've done all the research and, and, and science on that. And so we wanted to do this to raise awareness about them and their efforts. So that's the reason why these two girls put, not only put their passion in, in play, but put their lives at, at, at risk, because we did a lot of, I mean, we did one crossing at night from Oahu to Kauai, over 80 miles. And they, they paddled for 16 straight hours. You know, and the passion they have for the environment, I think, is one of the things that they're really Everybody involved. Everybody involved. You know, we were really, really fortunate that um, Morning Tilt Clothing and uh, Brazen Hazen Coffees gave us sponsorship to actually go off and do this, to actually do the expedition. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was some stuff that was just like, when you have two people off a boat in the middle of the night with 10 foot swells, and they're falling off boards, and we're and we're, we have to look at you know, especially at that night crossing. The temperature is Hawaii, but it still gets down to the 60s out in the open ocean. We had a thunderstorm threatening us, so if there was lightning, we'd have to pull them out of the water. So there were a lot of things that we had to consider. One of our photographers got a jellyfish. You know, it's like all kinds of stuff. You know. Middle of the week or sometime. We're showing on Sunday. Actually, we have a Sunday slot at 11 a.m. on the 30th, and then we have a, uh, a Tuesday 10 a.m. on uh, February 1st. And then we're doing an event uh, here in, um, on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. with Blue Line Paddle Surf here in Santa Barbara, where we're um, doing something where you can uh, bring us some, some bottles, bring us some bags, we'll trade you for some reusable products that we can use. And then you can get on some stand-up paddle boards and teach how to paddle around and have fun. So we're here with Chris Aguilar, and the name of your film? It's called Destination Three Degrees. Destination Three Degrees. And what, what do you say? What was the budget of your film approximately? You are working with the budget of the film. Um, well, I mean, our expedition was one cost, but the actual film production was all, all came out of my pocket. So, I mean, I actually couldn't tell you. I know it was about somewhere around ten thousand or so. I mean, it was really slim because <laughs> I work a full time job, so I had to like work a job and make this film at the same time. So, being here 
is crazy <laughs> right now. It's a really big dream come true, and I'm just I'm so honored. Well, congratulations, and what would you tell to up and coming, you know, people filmmakers? What would it be your advice? You know, it's interesting. I think with a festival theme this year is Dream Big, I've seen that with Dream Bigger, and that's for me. I mean, I never imagined when I started making like surf and web video and whatever, like three or four years ago, that I would be in this kind of position. And I was really fortunate. I had friends that believed in me to ask me to do this because I was honored that they asked me to do to do the documentary for them because they could have called on anybody, but they asked me to do it. And I was really touched by that, and they trusted me with it. And I think. Um, the next thing is just believe in yourself and just when, no matter if you're sitting at your desk at the cubicle and you're like this sucks it's like go home go for a run clear your head and start your day over and go to work on what you believe in because it'll you it could happen yeah hey congratulations are you from santa barbara yeah, I'm from LA. i grew up born and raised in the uh, in, uh, south bay area hermosa beach or Mountain beach that area but i love santa barbara so it was like no no problem for me to come up <laughs> yeah. awesome well thank you so much for talking to us thanks so much for having me appreciate it